Oh, hey y'all, how you doing? Welcome to my, one of my weird little spots on the internet. I'm glad you found me. Um, if you guys want a personal reading from your girl, hit me up. The link is in the description box below. If you are not subscribed to my main channel, Southern Strega Tarot, please go do that now. Um, uh, that link will also be down there for you. Anyways, guys. Got a little unboxing to do for y'all today because I love unboxing and it is spooky season and I have so many weird little spooky decks that I have not used yet on my channel. So I wanted to start pulling them out because your girl's been slacking on content just to be real with you. <laughs> Anyways, um, this author, tarot author, is one of my favorites. I use another one of her decks very frequently on my channel, um, the Mermaid Tarot. Her name is Dame Darcy. Where is her name? Oh, there's the Dame Darcy. This is her witchy cat deck. Perfect for spooky season. There's the cover. Dame Darcy is like this really cool punk rock chick. She's a comic book writer. She has done things with Nirvana. I feel like, she, oh yeah, she has a lock. Does she have a, like a lock of Kurt Cobain's hair? She did something with Kurt Cobain's hair or something for Courtney Love. I forget what it was random story anyways anyways she's cool as hell um i love the mermaid tarot i use it all the time she's also done an alice in wonderland deck which i have that i don't think i've unboxed yet um on the channel and she also has this witchy cat deck that i have never used i don't think i don't think i've ever used it on my channel anyways um it's great for halloween so let's unbox it and we stop talking and i'm probably going to pull some cards for all signs because i've been doing that lately with the unboxings Try and get my watched hours up so I can monetize this channel too and feed my babies. So make sure you guys go watch some other videos while you're here and help your girl out. <clears throat> and then definitely make sure you're subscribed over there on Southern Strega Tarot so you can see me do more readings with these. I feel like I'm gonna do like a past life karma reading with these. Um, I don't know, I just feel like that's what I need to do. Anyways, so Dame Darcy, uh, Dame Darcy Witchy Cat Tarot. Um, I got the regular cardboard box. I think there is a better version, more expensive version of the box, um, if you want to get that one. Uh, and the back it says, Witchy Cat was... Oh, inspired by Bastet. This is, sorry, this is really hard to read. Look, first cursive right here. <laughs> and your girl here is like in her 40s, so I'm old as hell and I can barely see. Um, it says, Witchy Cat was inspired by Bastet, the I don't know what that word is. Theory anthropic. Oh, Theory anthropic, Egyptian goddess of abundance, fertility. The Theory a, a witchy <laughs> witchy cat was inspired by Bastet, the Therianthropic Egyptian goddess of abundance, fertility, and protection of women, also influenced by Victorian surrealism. This deck was drawn in the memory of my childhood pet, Kitty Licorice. Aw, Licky. <laughs> 1973 to 1989, whose sweet little spirit uh, visited me in dreams during the drawing of this deck. Witchy Cat Tarot, the third deck in the series, is dedicated to your dear tarot reader. Is dedicated to you, dear tarot reader and cat lover. Thank you. That was so hard to read. Like, the cursive is, is beautiful, but it's like, look, it's hard to read. Yeah. Anyways, standard little box. Super cute design. It's like super campy Halloween-y. I love it. Um, here's what the cards look like. There is no guidebook with this one, but I don't care. I don't need it. I do love a guidebook though, but look how cute the cards are. All right. They are pretty decent stock. They're pretty heavy. They're not like super flimsy. They are super glossy though. All right. The mermaid ones that I have, they're very matte. All right. These are not, these are real slippery. Um, all right. So let's just go ahead and do the little flip through. Not really much else to say. Plain deck on the sides. Anyways. But her art makes up for it. Like, she does not ever phone it in. Every single card is a story. No slacking on the minor arcana with her. So, I appreciate that as an art reader. 
<clears throat> All right, let's start with cups. Ace of cups. Two of cups. Three of cups. Four of cups. Five of cups. Six of cups. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Page. Knight. Queen. Oh, she's beautiful. King. How oh, very Romeo. Ace of Wands. Is that what it's like Medusa? I love that. Two of Wands. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh my God, they're so cute. <laughs> Seven. Look at the face. Eight. I like legit want to get some of her mermaid cards like tattooed on me for real. Nine. Ten. Page. I love that they're like fairy wands. That's so amazing. Night. Oh my God, this queen of wands is so good. King of wands. Perfect. Ace of swords. Two of swords. Oh my God, uh, that three of swords is so extra. <laughs> Four of swords. Five of swords. Six of swords. Seven of swords. Someone thinks they're getting away with something with that one. I love different cards. I get such different meanings from them, from everything. And this one is already giving me new insights. I love it. Eight of swords. Nine of swords. Ten of swords. Page of swords. Knight of swords. Queen. Aw, why is she so sad? Harsh truths, harsh truths. King of Swords. That looks like Aslan from Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Ace of Pentacles. I fucking love this card so much. <laughs> oh, uh oh, where's my two? I don't know why I did with the two of Pentacles. Hopefully it's in here somewhere because I have played with these before. There's the three. There's the four. There's the five. Six, three, seven, three, eight, three, nine, three, ten, three, page, knight, queen, king. Oh, there's the two. Oh my God. Oh, I used to have an orangey kitty. I love him so much. Shout out to Opie. Look at my little Opie pants. Majors, fool. Y'all, This these are like literally art pieces. Every card is stunning. <coughs> Magician. High Priestess. Oh my God, there's Bastet right there. Empress. Ooh, X-rated. Sorry, YouTube. It was a cartoon cat. Get over it. Emperor. Hierophant. Lovers. Chariot. Ooh, that's interesting. There's the Sphinx. Riddle me this. Who knows the Sphinx riddle without Googling it? I do. Strength. Hermit. <clears throat> Wheel of fortune sidebar has anyone seen pat sajak going off the rails lately google that and go down that wormhole justice the hangman the hang cat 
death. That's so Grateful Dead. I love it. Temperance. Devil. Diablo. Tower. Oh, that's a good tower. Star. Moon. Sun. Oh, that's so beautiful. Mine's in Ukraine with all the sunflowers. Judgment. And the world, El Fin. All right, beautiful deck. Love it. Super excited that my toddler did not lose the Two of Pentacles. Would not have been a stunning card to lose, though. Shuffling. Nice little shuffle. Not too bad. I do need to break them in. I've not really... I don't think I've ever used these. I think I pulled them out and went through them, but I don't think I've ever actually used them. So this will be the first time using them. I like them. I like anything she puts out, I will immediately buy. I don't even think about it. Like, I'm just a big fan of hers. Um, I read her little biography about her. I thought she was a cool chick. She's rad. So yeah, five out of five pasta pots for this one. What kind of message do I want to do for you guys? <clears throat> I want to do like what good luck is coming your way because everyone thinks that black cats are like cursed or whatever. Like, I do not. I like, I love black cats, um, which is love black cats. Duh. Um, so yeah, I'm going to reverse the curse for the little kitties. I'm going to give you guys good stuff coming your way. Good fortune coming your way. Also, figure out what sign your part of fortune is and make sure you listen to that sign's reading, all right? I'm going to shuffle these 13 times. There's one. Two. That's my lucky number, by the way. Three. I cannot shuffle these well. My hands are so small. Four. Five. Six. Thirteen's actually a lucky number in Italy. Seven. Eight. one. <laughs> I'm struggling with these. Tiny hands. Was that Austin Powers? Small hands. Smells like cabbage. Carnies. My Polish relatives take offense. So my gypsy ones. All right, I'm going to cut them three times. With the power three by three, show me what I need to see. Talking riddles. It sounds very witchy. I'm just going to go straight down the Zodiac and I'm going to pull two, three cards because I can't, I cannot do even numbers. Like if y'all watch my channel, I have like a phobia of even numbers. I don't know why that is. Don't ask me. I just do. So I'm going to do three cards straight from this from what I just shuffled and tell you good stuff that's coming your way. All right. So Aries, you're first. Aries, you have the three of cups. Ooh. The queen of swords. With the five of wands in reverse, this is crazy. This is literally, all right, here's your cards. There's the three of cups. He's ready to party. It reminds me of that little cat. What is his name? Morris or whoever it was. They're all excited for their food. Yeah, he's ready to party. And then you got the queen of swords. <laughs> and then we have the five of wands. And that was in the reverse, all right? This is somebody returning. This is either a family member or a love relationship, something like that. It's somebody you have soulmate energy with. It's somebody that is very important that you do have a very um, strong emotional attachment to. 
I do feel like there was a falling out between the two of you. I do feel like there was a lot of uncertainty about whatever that was. And I feel like that is getting cleared up. I feel like somebody's done crying about whatever this is and they're tired of fighting the urge to come back and make this right. Um, somebody is making it a point to, I feel like whoever, there's a very stubborn energy attached to this. Like somebody does not want to back down or somebody does not want to like apologize for what has been done here, but they're realizing a lot that like they're responsible for something. It's like somebody taking accountability and coming back and apologizing to try to make something right and trying to end a long, petty, petty conflict, all right? Somebody is coming back for the purpose of that, to admit that they were wrong. That Queen of Swords, like, I read art for a reason. Like, she's crying in these cards because she's, like, doesn't want to have to say this truth, but she knows the truth, all right? So there's Aries. Um, Taurus, Ten of Wands in reverse. Love that. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Four of Cups. You guys are realizing your worth in a situation. There's something that you have been going really hard at, like putting all of your work into, all of your effort into, to try to make pay out somehow, to try to, you know, get something going or something growing. You want to reap some kind of reward. You want to benefit somehow from the situation. You want something to come of it, all right? And I'm not saying in a selfish way, but you're realizing now that it's not even worth your time anymore. Like, you're taking your emotions out of it. Like, I feel like you were emotionally invested in whatever the situation was. And that's why you kept feeding it and feeding it and feeding it. Even though it wasn't getting anywhere or it wasn't growing or it wasn't, you know, succeeding. And you weren't getting anything in return. Like, literally, you are getting nothing for all your efforts. You're understanding now that your value, all right, is and your emotions are important enough to not put up with this anymore. You're, you're taking the feelings out of it or this, I feel like there's almost like a guilt associated with it. You're leaving that behind and you're realizing that, you know, you have to retract from this. I also feel like when you stop giving to whatever this situation is, that's when somebody like panics, all right? And they like want, you know, to come forward and get you to notice them more or to, you know, accept them more on an emotional level. I also feel like a lot of you, um, you're making it a point now to put yourself first and like this four of cups look she's like sitting in bed and she's having like somebody wait on her it's kind of like a bratty energy like for once like all, all the tauruses that i know everyone talks you know there's like a stereotype that tauruses are lazy and like stubborn and that could not be further from the truth literally all of the taurus people that i know my friend jay um my dummy and my friend lauren like all of them work like hard and a lot and they are by no means like lazy all right not at all they're about their bag and their money and they're not slackers you guys aren't either but you're finally realizing that like unless you're gonna get something from this or until somebody starts you know putting in some more effort here to try to help you out with whatever this is you're gonna kick back and like it's time to let somebody wait on you like, you're handing off the baton to somebody else with all these wands is what I feel like. I like that. You're delegating responsibilities so that you can rest and focus on yourself and getting back together. Gemini, Page of Cups in the reverse. The Lovers in the reverse. <clears throat> and the King of Cups in the reverse. You're becoming emotionally mature, all right? This is funny because I have like my Venus in Gemini, so I'm cracking up at this. And my little son is also a Gemini, so this is funny to me. First of all, your energy is sitting in the middle here. Gemini energy, lover's energy, it's, it's duality. It's having two different options. It's needing to make a very important choice. Each choice has its own consequences. Here, the choice that you're making is to, despite the fact that you are very emotionally triggered or very hurt or you want to act very manipulative and petty but the king of you know pet, um cups in reverse here um you're choosing not to do that page of cups in reverse you're going to save that you're going to not lovers in reverse you're not going to choose all right to express the hurt and the pain you're also learning to keep your mouth shut all right i don't know if, if um gemini sun moon risings have the same problem as gemini venus like myself does and you just when you get in a love relationship, you just, you spew your feelings like super fast. You can't hold them back because I'm super chatty and I'm just going to say things. 
all right? Because I want to know. I want to know how everyone else feels. <clears throat> You're learning to, like, put a muzzle on that, to lay back and be cool, all right? Gemini's, we're not cool. We're, like, we're, like, like, how do you explain? Like, chihuahuas? I don't know. <laughs> we don't like dead air. We don't like silence. We don't like mystery. We want to get to the bottom of it. We're like the damn Scooby gang. Yeah, so you're learning to like hold back, all right? And to be more emotionally mature and not have to blurt things out immediately when you say them. Like, I have no filter, all right? This is getting a filter, especially in situations where you're super emotionally triggered. And that is helpful, all right? All right, Cancer, what's up with you guys? The sun in reverse, boy. Six of Wands, all right. With the Six of Cups in the reverse. <laughs> Look, somebody's flexing on their ex here. You've got double sixes. Sixes are about like the ability to pass something on to other people or to be of value to somebody else. And like, and also it's about giving and receiving all sixes here. All right. It's about mutual giving and receiving. Um, there's like a real, real sour situation from your past with the sun in reverse and the six of cups in reverse. All right. This is like, um, how do I explain this the best way possible? It's somebody who, it's like they forgot about you, all right? There was also like a lot of hurt here. Like whoever this was didn't see your worth or your value when you guys were together. It's like they paid no attention to you. I feel like they 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 didn't even, like, I don't know. It's almost like they felt like they were better than you, all right? Um, that, the, my, how the tables have turned, all right? Six of Wands energy basically is riding out of a battle and being the victor and coming into your village and having everybody praise you, you know, for being the best and being, you know, a hero, blah, blah, blah. That's what you're doing in the middle of all of this. And whoever this person from the past is, is like big mad. All right. They were like trying, somebody was like also trying not to pay attention to you. And you're ending up doing something here that gets you so much recognition or that um, draws so much good attention to you that they can't help but notice you. All right. Um, I'm a Cancer, all right? So this energy tickles me to death. I don't care what you say, Cancers. We are like the most emotionally manipulative sign ever. And the fact that you could passively sit back and do absolutely nothing and whoever this is that ghosted you or, you know, was not paying any attention to you is now being forced to like put their eyes on you for something, that's gratifying, all right? And that is a good thing. Can't hide for long, all right? Can't hide that long. Page of Pentacles. All right, Leo, you have Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Are you learning to hold your tongue like Gemini? Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Queen of Cups in the reverse. You are done with the pity party. That's good news. Um, you're also refusing to engage in any kind of communication that is going to like deplete you energetically. Um, also, there's been like a situation with somebody here. It's an emotional one. And I do feel like it's somebody that you have been interacting with like recently. There's like a, a back and forth between the two of you. That's like super toxic. <laughs> I mean, super toxic. Every time y'all talk, it's like super childish or people are just trying to like tit for tat or like hurt each other. Um, just saying the most hurtful shit possible. You are ghosting that energy. All right. You are leaving that behind. You're choosing not to engage which is hard for a Leo, all right? I also have heavy Leo in my chart. I'm almost a Leo son. A couple hours and I would have been in your gang. Um, this is like, um, I want the last word, all right? I want to say what I need to say, especially when I'm mad. You're not gonna do that anymore, all right? You're also completely, um, a lot of you are just done putting yourself out there emotionally. And I don't think that that's a bad thing because I feel like whatever this is, is like you're focusing on your finances or like something that you need to be focusing on that whatever that has been, has been distracting you from. There's also some like, I feel like it's somebody that's been 
purposely withholding something from you is either money or like a conversation that needs to be had. They've been purposely holding that back and I feel like that's end going to end up happening. It's like somebody's been like absent and like void all right, and devoid of emotion. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's like they've been showing no kind of feeling whatsoever to this situation and that's been really weird, all right? It's like you can't believe that they haven't said anything or done anything or that they could be, you know, this cold. Yeah, they're coming out of the cold. I guess that's a good thing because this is my good sign, you know, good thing readings. What? Whatever. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgos. You got the hangman in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Ace of Cups. Wow. This is a very clean, clear cut message for you, Virgos. All right. You finally realize that the only thing holding you back from getting love is your damn self. All right. Because you're being too stringent. Big shocker there. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. In the middle of everything, you're realizing that you're not in your own energy. You're realizing that you're either like trying too hard in situations or, you know, you're not opening up enough it's like it, it reads one way or the other with that queen in reverse you're either not giving enough or you're giving way too much or you're being overly possessive um you're like seeing the light about something it's like you're being you know becoming very self-aware of how you have been the problem here all right um and you're getting new love ace of cups also a lot of you who have been trying to have a baby all right you're going about a new way of doing that, and I feel like it's going to work. Um, I do. I feel like it's going to work. It's like when you... It, it, odd message, too. A lot of y'all that were trying to get pregnant and, like, doing a bunch of extra, like, um, in vitro or anything like that or fertility, um, it's like when you stop doing that and you give up the trying, it's almost like when you throw in the towel, it's all of a sudden it comes negatively. I mean, not negatively. I mean, it comes, um, like, immediately. I was saying negatively because I feel like this is your guides saying you can't pick when you have your baby. It comes when it comes. There's a reason why it comes when it comes. It'll be born with a certain astrology that it's supposed to have. I'm a prime example of that. I had the most, it was a Virgo baby. I, like, on the pill, get knocked up, like, right before I turned 40 and, like, right after I had been divorced and... Not with somebody that I was in a committed relationship with, but was like a longtime friend. And it just was like, I was not trying to get pregnant. And here we are. It's like a weird miracle baby for some of you. Weird flex, Virgo. I just don't get a lot of medical or pregnancy messages, but that was very clear. It's like the second you let go of control over trying to force the pregnancy to happen, on your terms is like when the universe is like oh you learned your lesson about everything in due time now you can have what you want all right libra seven of cups in reverse page of swords in reverse i feel like i shouldn't be reading reversals but i feel like they're all reversed this doesn't doesn't make any sense nine of swords in reverse lots of uh, swords in the seven of cups jesus christ like, you're no longer allowing, like, love to be a distraction for you. You're immediately, also, you're creating anxiety because you have too many options for some of you. There's lots of messages here. Let me turn these around so I can see them better. You almost have too many choices, all right? Um, that is a good thing, but I just want to warn you about not over agonizing about them. I feel like you're cutting through all of that. A lot of you guys have been really having a, a bout with like depression, all right? That seven of cups I saw with the nine of swords, that's somebody whose emotions are getting the best of them in like the worst way possible. They can't sort them out no matter, you know, what they try to do. You're sorting them out, all right? It's the, you know, page of swords energy. You're kind of doing it begrudgingly, but you're doing it. It's like you're having this lightning bolt moment. You're finally going to figure out something clicks, all right? And takes you out of this fog. I feel like you've been in a fog, especially related to some kind of an emotional situation here. Like it's been way fucking with your sleep. It has been with your job, some of you. Um, like, and it's not only that, but it's like you surround yourself with whatever this energy is. It's like you you voluntarily, 
you know, associate with it. I feel like you're realizing that you need to stop doing that. You're like seeing things for what it is. You're gaining a lot of clarity and it's clearing up your head. Good message, Libra. Scorpios, mommy's favorite. Ace of fucking swords. Just when I said they're all reversed, you get the upright ace of swords. I love that shit. God, I love that shit. And you get the seven of swords right next to it. God, good luck. This is hilarious. Ooh, justice. God, this is so good. Oh. <laughs> Scorpio. First of all, I'm a Scorpio moon, all right? And you're honest. Um, in my second house. So very much Scorpio in this realm. There's nothing more satisfying to a Scorpio than getting to the bottom of a mystery and uncovering it and serving that justice, all right? I just did an astrology video on this channel, um, why we should all be scared of the rest of October astrology. And I talk about this concept of the Libra Scorpio cusp, um, how both Libra and Scorpio want balance and justice, um, how they both want, you know, change and decisions to be made and endings and beginnings, you know what I'm saying? Like they, and they love to investigate, like both of those signs love to investigate. Scorpios are like the human lie detector of the Zodiac. Um, good luck lying to any of Scorpio. You uncover whatever this truth is that you've been seeking, all right? And it's a big one with the Ace of Swords. It deals with somebody who has been manipulative and somebody who has been lying. Somebody who thinks they're fucking sneaky and getting away with stuff, all right? They're not because Ace of Swords, it all gets revealed and then justice is served. And they're all up, right? After I just commented and now every single sign had everything in reverse. Also, do you know why this is? This has to do directly with that astrology video that I was talking about. Scorpios are getting good karma and good astrology for the next few months. It's amazing, all right, what's coming up for Scorpio placements. Um, that's why you're upright and everyone else is not, because everyone else is kind of up in the air and dicey. You are getting justice. You are having the truth come out. You are exposing a liar. And God, there's nothing more satisfying because where Libra just likes to, you know, have the trial and determine the verdict and give the judgment, Scorpio likes to execute the judgment. They're the death card. Somebody's getting sentenced and you're like responsible for it, all right? Take it as it resonates. Libra. I already did Libra. I'm looking at Libra again. Sag. Knight of Pentacles was in the reverse. Death in the reverse. And Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. No longer beating a dead horse, all right? The Knight of Pentacles is like the only one that ever finishes his job. While well, you're saying, no, I'm not going to do this. You're turning your horse around. You're getting off the horse. You're stopping. Because you realize that you had been feeding a situation that was supposed to be over. You're withdrawing your energy from that and you're letting it die. You're like embracing the sweet release of death with whatever this is. Like you're no longer, you know, aimlessly pursuing something. All right. You're getting your wits about you. Um... <clears throat> You're also choosing not to settle, all right? There's there's something you feel like that is unfinished business, and I think that you're right about that. Um, there's like this inclination for you to not want to put down roots or not settle or not jump into anything too quickly because you feel like there's something that you haven't done yet, that there's something that you still, you know, or that there's an option that is on the table, and I feel like you're correct about that, all right? So, yeah, I feel like you're just making really smart moves. Also, a lot of you guys are quitting a job. <laughs> and when you quit that job, all right, they're going to, it's almost like they get it. Like, that's what they needed to get it, all right? And I feel like they're going to end up offering you something else or more or something like that. But it's like, I don't feel like you should take it. I feel like it's a little too late. All right, day late, dollar short, as they say. Uh, let's see, Cap, are you next? Capricorn, there, yeah, duh, I summoned you, the devil. <laughs> in the reverse, though, all right. With the world in the reverse, ooh. And the six of swords, I like this. A lot of you guys are quitting an addiction. A lot of you guys are... <clears throat> 
<clears throat> this is big energy here. Also, this is Pluto moving out of your sign, by the way. I have to give you that message for the astrology portion. Pluto has been sitting in Capricorn since 2008, just like wreaking absolute hell on our economy and our finances and our vices and devilish things, all right? Pluto's not a fun energy to mix with the devil. It's getting ready to switch over to Aquarius though, so go check out that astrology video and see what that means. This is you, all right? Leaving toxic shit all the way in the past. And these are things that you've been supposed to have been left in the past a long time ago. These are like things that you've been trying to kick, habits you've been trying to kick, um, obsessions that you've been trying to kick. You are sailing past it like nothing, all right? Not only that, but it's like you're hot foot in it. It's weird. Like you can't wait to get away from this stuff. And it's not hard, all right? It's not hard. I, I just heard you're a ghost of your former self. And I think that's a good thing, all right? Because I feel like some of y'all are like party monsters. If it's not you, it's possibly somebody around you. This is good news, though, that whatever this long, ongoing, toxic cycle was, it's coming to an end, all right? Which is much needed. Somebody was heading down the wrong path, all right? Um, Let's see. Aqua. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, Aqua. Three of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Wands. Wow. That's interesting. All right. So, there was a big old betrayal between you and somebody. All right. It's like, I showed you this card. It stuck out to me in the beginning. It's like pushing this chick out the window. Somebody rejected you or you rejected somebody else. Take it as it resonates. Whatever this is, it's good news. Somebody got rejected hard, all right? And I don't feel like it was, um, how do I put this? It was definitely on purpose. This person was most definitely trying to reject somebody. But internally, I feel like they didn't want to. <laughs> This Knight of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles here, it's like being overly eager and passionate about entering into a commitment with whoever this is. It's like wanting it so bad and seeing that it's like a sure thing, all right? Before somebody was shoving somebody away and like doing it in a really underhanded and like slimy kind of way, I feel like now all of a sudden somebody's super eager for a commitment. Before this person was like, ew, commitment, get out of here, like push you out the window. I don't want that. And now all of a sudden, it's like they change their mind and they do a 180. Knight of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. That's like somebody who cannot wait, all right, to get married or to get into a commitment. All right, Pisces, let's wrap it up with you. Nine of Wands. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Four of Swords in the reverse. You're like learning about like how to detach, all right? And not be codependent on anybody. You're also getting over something. <clears throat> there was something that you have been like in your Pisces hole about, all right? For a long time here. This is like a, a, a deep wound, all right? That's definitely, you're coming out stronger for it, all right? And you are also learning about boundaries from whatever this is. The good news is, is that the agonizing over what this situation was is over. You're no longer a slave to that energy is what I get with this. Um, look, and like, look, you guys have been through it. Like, look, they have like one of their eyes missing. This is you, Pisces. <laughs> I fucking love it. Like, you don't care how gnarly things were or how bad it, everything is or how broken you are. You're putting yourself back out there. And you're telling yourself that you're no longer going to be having a pity party. It's like you're canceling your pity party. That's the best way I can put this. All right. And that's good news. You need to do that. All right. All right, guys. That was your fun little message from the witchy cat tarot. Make sure you're subscribed everywhere. Book a personal with me so I can feed my babies. You know, all that good stuff. I will catch you on the next one. Love y'all. Bye.